Hello students, I hope you're doing great. So in this video, we are going to do work on Oxford Countdown Book 5, third edition. So now let's get started. Okay, let me show you the page. Okay, so the page that we are doing in this video is 137. Chapter is geometry and the exercise that we are doing in this video is exercise 7D, question number 4, 5 and 6. Okay, we're doing question number 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so now... Oops. So now let's get started. The first, okay. So as you can see, question number four is construct a triangle DEF where MDE is 7, 7 cm, MDF is 7 cm, and MEDF is 60 degrees. Name the triangle. Okay, so now let's get started. So as you know, it says the we constructed baseline have to be 7 cm because there are two 7 cm's. Okay, so baseline have to be 7 cm. Okay, so let me have. So in your scales, you you choose the 7 cm side, which is this side, and where comes 7 on the scale right here. This is 7. So we're gonna draw a 7 cm line. Okay. You can also put dots to remember that how much you need it, like 7 cm. I will just put it in close enough to 7. Because 7 cm and the triangles is DE, so we are going to write here D and E. Okay, so next part is for now we are going to skip the 7, this one 7 cm and go to the um, angle which is 60, 60 degrees okay so for this part you don't need to think that which one what do you do all you gotta do is you see here with this is question number four right you see with 60 degrees there is d e i mean e d f okay e d f you always have to pick the middle number and draw your angle on the middle number okay as I told you that it's our angle is going to be on D because the middle number was D. Okay. The letter was D. Okay. So we are going to put a D scale. Right where is our angle. Take it. I mean. Okay. Um, just make sure that it's equal. Okay. So this is equal. Okay. So now you find 60. If it was right here, then you look for 60 this place. Since it's this, this area, because D is coming here, so that's why we're going to draw an angle on this side. So 60 comes here. 60. Perfect. Now what do you do is you take your scale. And simply, you just do this. Look. Your dot, remember to take a dot, okay? The dot that you take in from your D scale, like this. D scale is also called a protector, so you can call it protector D scale, okay? So next what you do is, you little, you just little bit grow your line. Grow your line, okay? But it's your choice if you want to grow your line. I'm not growing my line because I needed... First, I needed 7 this cm. Okay, so now, so we have done 60 and the baseline. But where we will be doing 7 cm, let me tell you. This is the help of compass. You use your compass, put your pencil in. Make sure your pencil and the point of the compass is equal. There you go. Perfect. Now you take your scale. And just like I told you, just take, um, you know, your... I'm, I mean, like, open your compass on 7 cm, okay? Let me just open it. Put your pointed area on 0 and your pencil on 7 cm. Make sure to calculate it well. Just in case, as you know, you can might sometimes get in trouble. Still, perfect. 7 cm is done. Okay, so now what do you do is you don't do it on... E, okay, you don't do it like this. You do it from the area where you have been taking your angle 60, okay? So, 7 cm. There you go. This is 7 cm. Compass, you see my line here? Okay, great. Next, what you do is you take your 
scale to measure that you have opened your um, compass 7 cm you have to put it like this okay and yes i opened my scale of 7 cm so done so this is 7 cm but what there is no any more number for this one this area so what are we just going to do if we're without any measurements you're just going to draw a straight line like this there is no measurement for this one okay no measurements only this one 7 cm and 60 degrees and f okay so it says you can name your triangle but are you like but i'm not naming it you can name it okay but i'm not naming it okay if you wanted to name you can name it equilateral isoskills or scalene okay but i'm not doing anything so we have done part four let's go to part five part five is construct an isoscalene triangle where the base of the triangle is 60 m and the and the base angle is 50. What do you do with now? This one is baseline. What did it say was the baseline? 6 cm. Okay. 6 cm. Okay. You I just like I told you, you can take a dot if you want it. Like I took this one. 6 cm. Okay. 6 cm and there is no number like a b c d that one that's why we're just gonna name it on our own a and b okay now what do you do is just like we did earlier there was this d here so what are we going to do is we're going to find um so what are we going to do is it's in this one it's your choice wherever you like to do it okay like 50 degrees right so okay so yeah so you can take it on 50 from here or here but it will be better for you if you take it from here okay from a but remember not always you take it from a you can take it from your own choice from here or here both of your will be right okay if you take it from here it will be right if you take it from here it will be right okay i'm taking it from right here there you go perfect after this i'm just going to do the same as i did earlier there you go perfect after this what do i do is i take 6 cm again Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. So, 6 cm in the compass I will have to take, okay? So, make sure my compass and the pencil is equal. If it's not, make sure to do it equal. Okay, and now how much I have to open it? 6 cm. Since there was no number, that's why I'm taking it 6 cm, okay? 6 cm comes right here, okay? So, I open my... Compass of 6 cm. Now, all I will do is do the same part just like I did earlier. Perfect. Next, now what I will I do? I will just make sure that my I open my compass of 6 cm. And yes, I did open it for 6 cm. Now, what do I do? Since there was no any more number, we are just going to do it simple and easy. This is going to be 5. So they know that much problem remember this pointed area always have to be equal okay it's like not like this you never do it like if it was like this your triangle was like this and what you do you just do it like this no you have to do it like this okay just erase it for you to look at this better okay perfect so now what will we do is just give it number like how much it was 
50 so 50 goes here and with this was 16 so we're just gonna name it 16 okay so we have did part 4 and 5 okay now next part is part 6 okay the sixth one is really easy and i think it's super duper easy but i am also thinking to do part 8 but i will not do it right now i'll do it in the next video for now let's just do part 6 let's go to next page because i'm doing one page okay there you go but reflect the so the part six is construct a triangle pqr where mpq is 7.5 cm mqr is 6 cm and m and m pqr is 45 and i gotta tell you one more thing whenever there is an you know um whenever there is an um uh, angle in it there's always this kind of shape in it okay this is known as angles shape okay look it looks like angle and when there's a triangle sign the triangle sign is like this okay remember this okay. let's do it so uh, we are gonna do our baseline 7.5 okay 7.5 remember to take dots I'll also tell you how much is 7.5 coming just a second 7.5 cm p and q okay perfect so let me tell you first i will tell you where 7.5 comes okay you see 7 is this number and after you count these lines count 5 1 2 3 4 5 this where comes 7.5 okay so remember this okay so now let's do it so i have did my 7.7 cm baseline next what i will do is i will use um this so it is coming on 4.5 degrees okay but before this i'm gonna tell you there are two ways to do this question okay i'm doing the for this is the question number six has two ways of doing this is 7.5 after this i will tell you six cm one okay but it will be the same question okay because you can do it from the both styles that's why so first i will tell you the first part of it there let me just tell you six this one have two styles two styles okay so number one style is 7.5 cm and the next one is two point i mean six point okay i mean i'm sorry 6 cm one okay but i'm not doing the 6 cm one right now i will do it in the next video with question number seven and eight for now i will just do this one 4.5 comes here there you go 4.5 4.5 comes right about here okay so when you got 4.5 down you basically sorry for the voice at the back you basically do this perfect next what you do is you take your this um this um you know this um sorry compass and then you just open your scale of 6 cm 6 cm comes here okay i have opened mine from 6 cm and i will do, take it from here okay like this and then you know just gotta see if it's equal yes it's equal just write 6 cm this one this side has no you know thingy so we're just going to oh, this okay okay this 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 like i told you six um part six has two kinds of style this was number one you can do it from the both ways i'm gonna tell you the both ways of doing question number six okay so this was question six first style and now let me tell you the second style of this question number six so you can take also six cm okay so like this so you take six cm like this i'm not doing question number eight or seven i'm doing six parts um Hmm, the second one 6 cm okay like this and p sorry pq 
There you go. Now you again take the simple way of this and do it like this. Okay. There you go. Perfect. And this like that. And what you do is you, this one is same. Okay. Now there is a change. I did 6 cm and I did 7.5 cm. And these both ways are correct. There is no way that these both are going to be wrong. Whatever you do is right one. Okay. I'm going to open mine off 7.5 cm. 7.5 comes here. There you go. There you go. Whoa, this is going to be really um, high. So, what are you going to do before you make your this angle? You always remember if there's a bigger of it, you just, you know, a little bit make your line bigger. Okay? Like this. Then, you do this. Perfect. It's still, I know, a little more big. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, so sorry. You don't do it like this, okay? You never ever do it like this. You do it from the other side. Let me tell you how. I accidentally did it from here. You have to always remember to do it from here, okay? You never do it from the other side. It will be wrong, okay? Don't worry. Mistakes can always be going happened everywhere. So, forgive me. There you go now. You do this perfect. Then you see, there's no possible that it's going to be that big. I was also thinking that when I was doing it, but I'm so sorry. I'm going to do it. It's not possible. Well, do it. There you go. And you know what is funny? That there was already the line that I draw that big, so it has to be the same. Let me see. Seven point five. Perfect. So 7.5 cm and you are. Okay. So this is how you do question number 4, 5 and 6. And remember 6 has two kinds of style. So I hope you like my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Okay. Bye. See you in the coming up video.